welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me I have an orchestra concert this evening so I thought I would just chat to you guys while I get ready do my makeup for it it's quite early in the day actually it's like 10 15 um, because we've got a dress rehearsal this afternoon and we have to be in concert dress for it which is really annoying because normally I film these videos in between the dress rehearsal and the concert and I do again apologize for the construction I can't do anything about it Saturday mornings I like to be the noisiest for foundation, I think I'll go with my Lancome Tint Idol 24 Hour Makeup in the shade 090. It's very, very pale, but it's also a nice long wear formula, considering I've got to get through 12 hours with this today. And stage lights. <laughs> it's very warm. And I'm just buffing that in with my beauty blender. So normally in my chit chat, get ready with me, I talk about a particular topic that's been on my mind or just thing that I want to chat to you guys about but I also want to know what have you guys been up to I always want to know more about my subscribers because for me um, making videos is all about interacting with you guys and I feel like I don't really know you guys that well so if you want to leave me a comment you're more than welcome to introduce yourself tell me a little bit about yourself um, just be especially great to hear from my regular viewers you know where you're from and what you're currently doing with your life I just think it's really interesting I just love the finish of this foundation with a beauty blender I think it looks so lovely and natural but still gives a pretty good like medium to full coverage finish and you can build it up if you want as well I'm not gonna build up my foundation I'm just gonna go in with some concealer I'm gonna use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on my sort of little scars that are still peeking through on my chin this is just such a great concealer I also like to put a little bit down my nose and just here on the sort of center of my forehead because um, I just get a little bit of discoloration to my skin here it's quite hard to cover up with foundation for some reason and my nose always looks a little bit better with a bit more coverage on it I think at least for like full coverage makeup the trick to doing full coverage that still looks natural is to put the most amount of coverage on the center of your face so I tend to put it on my chin my nose forehead area and it gets lighter as it gets to the outside of your face that way it doesn't look like cakey like you've got a big mask on but you can seal the areas where you need it the most and I'll also put some under my eyes so that means that this whole area is concealed really heavily and then it's sort of a lighter coverage on the outside of my face which blends into my natural skin way better so you get a full coverage look without looking like a really full heavy face of makeup what concealer will I use under my eyes you know what I'm going to be really boring and I'm going to use my NARS under my eyes as well. Reason being, as I said earlier, this makeup has to last ages. Um, and this is my longest wearing full coverage concealer for under my eyes. And even though it's a little bit heavier formula, I kind of need that today. Um, so, I'm just going to be boring and use it as per usual. Then I'm just going to flip my beauty blender and use the other side. This is what I love about this tool so so versatile and leaves the most beautiful finish so i always blend out the outside of my concealer first um, because it's got the least amount of product there um, so it blends really nicely into the skin and then i just concentrate on blending out this inner portion with little dabbing motions to get the most coverage right under my eye and in the inner corner where it's darkest now i'm going to take this mac mineralized skin finish powder and take my beauty blender as well just pile up a bit of the product on that and just press it on top of where I put the concealer I love using a beauty blender for powder because I think it gives a really nice natural finish it also helps to hide pores if you kind of press and roll powder into your skin it's a really good way to actually disguise the look of large pores particularly using a beauty blender I think works wonderful wonderful works wonderfully <laughs> And I'll just put a little bit on my chin too where I concealed. This foundation has pretty good staying power, so I don't really need to set like down here the parts of my face that I didn't put concealer. So that's my base done. Now moving on to contouring products. Today I'm going to use the Illamasqua Cream Pigment in Hollow. This I have been loving this product lately. I mean I love all my contour products, but I decided to whip this out and use it again and I was like, why do I ever stop using this? It's so great. I'm just using my normal contouring brush which is quite flexible and generally with a cream like this you probably want to use something a little stiffer as you can see it kind of like flexes around 
the little container a little bit much but the reason I love it is it blends out so beautifully you don't get that harsh line that like really stiff contour brushes give so even though it's a little bit harder to get the product on you can kind of do this a few times and build up the intensity that you need and I mean look at that color that shade of contour is so so beautiful for pale skin it's just really natural too being a cream and it blends seamlessly into your foundation. So just remember the lighting always makes the side look a lot darker. Um, but if you do put too much on, you can always go back in with your beauty blender and kind of soften out the edges. I like to do that anyway, just to kind of make it look more realistic. For bronzer today, I'm going to use these e.l.f. Mineral Pearls. This is in the shade Natural, which is like a sort of natural bronzy shade. These are so beautiful and such a great find for pale skin. As you can see, like they're just really light colored bronzing pearls. Um, you don't get that many of them in the bottle, but it is like $3 from Beauty Joint. Like it's such a cheap product. And the tone of them is beautiful for pale skin as well. It's just really, really light. It's hard to sort of apply too much of this. And I'm just using my um, Fearless Cosmetics brush for blush, I'm going to use my MAC blush in the colour Well Dressed, which is a very, very, very soft pink. I just want something really, really subtle on my cheeks tonight. I think this colour is just so, so beautiful for pale skin. It was one of the first blushes I ever actually owned. And it was all the rage on YouTube when I bought it. Now no one ever talks about it, but I think it's such a beautiful product. Possibly too, because everyone is tanning a little more these days, and it's so light that it really doesn't show up on skin tones on any darker than mine like it's really suitable just for like really pale complexions and for highlight i'm using my laura mercier highlighter in devotion yes that's the shade which is a very very pretty beautiful highlighter this has got a really really pink undertone so that's why with this pink blush i thought it would be a really nice match and because i've got a very very fair sort of porcelain foundation on and not too much bronzer so it's going for more that youthful pinky glow. Now I'm dousing myself in this because I'm going to be on stage and my highlight got to look on fleek. Mm, I love this product. If you buy this and you're first disappointed, work your way through the top layer because this product has a bit of a weird film on it when you first get it and you're sort of like a bit disappointed with the payoff. Once you break through that like initial film, oh my gosh, it is so nice. Like look at that. And that's with natural lighting which makes highlighter look crap, I think. That's why I want to get a ring light because I want to have like that extra bit of artificial lighting to make my highlight pop. Then I just like to grab my beauty blender and I just like to soften the edges around where the highlight went just because I feel like it sort of blends it into the skin a little bit better. Makes it look more natural even though this highlighter is so bold. It doesn't really look natural at all. For brows I'm just going to use my usual Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. So the concert tonight that I'm playing in, my lovely friend Eliza is playing cello. She's playing the Algar Cello Concerto. If you're a musician, or even if you're not, um, you may have heard the piece, um, but if you haven't, just Google it, Algar Cello Concerto. It's a beautiful work, and she's so great at the cello. She's such a wonderful player, so it's been a pleasure playing that work with her. And then we're also playing Marla's fourth symphony. Marla is like the creme de la creme of symphonies to play. Like it's so rewarding and such a beautiful work. Um, so again, if you're interested in classical music, look up Marla's fourth symphony, spelt M-A-H-L-E-R, symphony number four. Um, such a cool work. Such a beautiful work. Yes, I'm very, very excited about tonight's concert and to play it. The, the second movement actually has um, Scordatura Violin Solo, which means I have two instruments with me on stage and I have to swap between a violin that's like my normal violin and a violin that's tuned a whole tone up, which is very difficult to play. <laughs> like, it's weird to be playing notes that aren't the right pitch as such to what you're reading. Um, but the part is really awesome. That's in the second movement, the violin solos, most of them. But it's quite a new experience for me. I'm just really lucky to be able to play this piece and play the solos in my like um, student career so that when I get into professional orchestra, it's not like playing those solos for the first time. I'm just going to chuck in some Savvy Clear Brow Gel. 
Now for my makeup today, I just want to do a very classic sort of old Hollywood look. So I'm going to go in first with a shimmery champagne shade. And this one in the Shanexo BH Cosmetics palette is my favorite. It's such a gorgeous, lovely, soft, shimmery shadow. I'm just taking a flat shadow brush. Just pack this shadow on here. It's just a really flattering color for my complexion. Then I'm going to go into my Naked Basics palette and just take the color Naked 2 and use this as a crease color. It's a very neutral, cool toned crease color. Perfect for pale skin. And I don't want anything too warm on the eye just because I've got really, really, really cool tones on my skin today. Finding a good crease color for pale skin is quite difficult. Um, a lot of the ones that are in like transition shades that are in palettes are often way too dark. So don't worry, I will be covering this topic in my best eye makeup for pale skin video too. Which will basically feature like good transition colors, good highlighting colors for the eyes, um, eye pencils, things like that. Things that are really quite color dependent for pale skin. In the meantime though, if you do watch my tutorials, then you're basically getting told all the products that I like for pale skin anyway. Um, I'm going to use my Chi Chi Eye Brightener. This is my favorite nude liner for pale skin. It's very, very, very pale, but it's still a nude. It's not a white. So it really brightens the eye, as you can see, but it doesn't add, like, it doesn't look too stark, but it also doesn't make it look darker. Some nude liners are so, so dark. Basically just counters, counteracts my redness on my eyes because I don't get enough sleep. I'm just going to take this pencil brush. It doesn't actually have any product on it, but I'm just going to... I sometimes get a little bit of extra product in my lower lashes, so I like to just use a clean pencil brush to kind of wipe it away, because I don't want any product on my lower lash line today. I'm gonna do that really like vintage kind of makeup look. So now I'm going to take my liquid liner, this is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp as per usual, <laughs> and just do a really nice classic wing with this. might do this off camera because I'm not very good at it on camera. I'm worried I'm going to screw it up. Well, turn into Amy Winehouse as per usual. Um, now I'm just grabbing this black shadow from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and a very, very tiny smudger brush. And this is how you can make your winged liner look quite vintage looking. You just grab a tiny, tiny brush and just connect the liner a little bit into the lower lash line. Just like that. And that way, when you do your lashes and that, you don't put any mascara on the bottom, but that's just enough to define. For mascara, I'm just going to use my mini Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. And I'm just going to apply this to my top lashes. Quite a few generous coats. And then for lashes, I'm going to use my Samantha Lashes by Slay Every Day. For lips, I'm going to use my Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the colour Drop Dead Red, which is a very, very dark kind of burgundy red colour. So that's what the finished makeup looks like. I'm going to do my hair and then I will check back in with you guys. So this is the final look of my makeup with my hair done. I have done a separate tutorial for this hairstyle. So if that is out, I'll link it below. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a comment below telling me about yourselves. I just really want to know more about you guys as my subscribers. And I just think it would be a really fun comment section to read. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful few days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!